Tube. It's Caitlin with A Stitch for Mom. I don't know what number video this is. Sorry. Um, I <laughs> have been gone for a while. Um, as many of you know, my dad passed away. He had a pulmonary embolism, which um, pretty much means that he had a blood clot and the blood clot moved up um, and he bled out. I mean... Not really, but, you know, that's pretty much how it goes. Um, it was a long day. I went up on Monday, the 11th, Veterans Day. I had already taken time off school for a dentist appointment, so I had just gone up after my dentist appointment because he was in the hospital. They had moved into the ICU. They were going to blast his blood clots. So he, um, they had him in the ICU to watch that, and he did, I mean, they blasted him at, like, 50%. And he seemed to be taking it okay. We were there all night. I was there from, I mean, I literally was up all night. Then in the morning, I slept for maybe like an hour. Then in the morning, my sister and I got up. We were like, we're gross. We need a shower. Is he okay? He was okay. So we left. Um, and then, I mean, not even, probably less than half an hour after that, uh, my stepmom called me and said that he had passed away. Um, they tried to get him up and his it moved, his blood clot moved. Pretty much is what happened. Um, it was very extremely devastating. Very sad. Um, I'm still not okay trying. But um, I had about a week off of work and had the funeral. Lots of people came. I've had so much support and I really appreciate that. Um, so that's kind of why I've been gone. I haven't been super motivated to get on to the YouTubes, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try because I have a ton of stuff to show you. So, um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for continuing to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to start doing some Instagram stories, uh, just to kind of keep everyone updated on things and maybe you care to watch them and maybe you don't. I don't know. I just... Sometimes I need someone to talk to, and uh, my go-to people uh, are gone. I mean, I still talk to them, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm, a, I'm going to be doing more Instagram stories. But I'm going to start off with a previous finish. So I finished this last year. Um, it is Lizzie Kate. Um, oh, Christmas String. And this is um, 28 count Monaco. It's cough. It's dyed like green with red dye, and then I coffee tea dyed it. Um, and it's just on a piece of wood. This one is glued on. I don't take this one off. And then just got a piece of fabric behind it. This is my favorite string. I love this string. I did change the colors. I added black, so they had a different color, and I added black. And I use my own colors, but um, I use the same color scheme, so I just added black. So, that's my previous finish. Um, if you are following me on Instagram, you've seen all my finishes. I've had a ton of finishes. Um, so, before all my eventful life happened, I finished Plum Pudding by uh, With I Needle and Thread. I used... Um, I did not use the call for colors. I just used my own conversion of the colors. I know that the red is Ribbon Red. The green is Jolly Holly. Um, I did use the color for the mouse. That's the same. I feel like I used the same color for the plum pudding. The called for color. But it's on a sled that I got from Target Dollar Isle last year. It is so cute. I love it. I put did put a batting. So there is batting on this one just to get it a little bit, just make it a little fluffier. But I absolutely love how this one turned out. It's so cute. So there's that one. That was my first one. That was, I was stitching on that while he was in the hospital. And I finished, because I had visited him the week before in the hospital. And then I had finished it on that Sunday. And that Monday is when I had to go up again. So, um, another finish that I have finally finished is Ornamental Joy by Country Cottage Needleworks. These just sit in there. It's nothing fancy. 
So for the colors, I use Jolly Holly for the light green, English Ivy for the dark green, Cherry Cobbler for the red, and, um, oh my goodness, what is that called? Ooh, I can't remember what my brown is. It's like, I want to say it's gingerbread, but it's not. Brown sugar, maybe? So it's just in this tray. This tray I had um, the one of the farms in, uh, Autumn Acres Farm. It sits in here in the fall. So this will sit in there in the... Um, for Christmas. I love this. So I started this one last year at Christmas and I did not get it finished until this year. And it's been finished. The stitching has been finished for a while, but I finally fully finished it in a tray. Super cute. Love it. Um, another finish that I had was Country Cottage Needleworks. Merry and Bright. So I don't know, I don't have, I have them all put away. So in the original, this has a top piece with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Um, and I don't, I don't know, I just liked the having the smaller version of it. And this was a mania start. And it's in a box, and this box is what I usually put, like, my Let It Snow in and a couple, and my Fourth of July piece. But this time I put a, a bow, so it's just magneted. I put a bow on it just to add a little bit more flair. This was my first finish on 32 count, um, and I really liked this fabric. It was easy to work with and stuff. So, that was that finish. I'm sure I'm missing finishes too, like just finishes I forgot I'd finished. Uh, my last finish, uh, my last fully finished project. I had another project. I can't remember what I did with it. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to show you guys. Okay is oh my goodness what is this one called Ooh, i can't remember what this one's called it's the um with a needle thread the oval series so um i have i do have fabric on the back but you can't really see it with this one but it is on a magnet because i do have um this one and i'm going to change this one up a little bit but this one will sit in there during the springtime. Um, and then I put a magnet on here and I just slid the picks into the bow and it's super cute. And I like this frame because it's a square frame. So I put that, so um, you can make it a square and then I just put the oval on top. I got this at the Very Vintage Christmas Market in Lincoln, um, Black Friday weekend. Because it was, yeah, I went on Black Friday. It was a cool little market. It was very nice. All right. So those are my fully finished projects. I do have a couple finished projects. I don't know why I can't think of what my other finished project is. Anyway, my first finished project is this, which is a little heart and hand mini. Um, I started this as a, a Halloween ornament, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Halloween ornament with it. Or I have this little frame that I painted black and it would fit perfectly on here. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but I just use my own colors. Whatever I thought would look good. But I finished that one. Let me grab my other one real quick. Ugh. Okay. I also finished our stitch along. Almost. So I did finish our 12 months of Christmas sale. Um, I finished this, I did finish it in November. So I did have it done in November. The only thing I need to do is I need to add the buttons and a couple things of snow. And I already know how I'm gonna finish it. And I have a picket fence already set out for it. I just gotta get it done. But it's one of those where I haven't been super motivated to do it, motivated to do it because I don't want to do the little buttons is literally all. That's the only reason why I'm not going to be motivated. But, oh, I do remember, I remember what it is now. And so obviously I'm not prepared to make this video, which is why I shouldn't make videos. Just kidding. Hold on one second. Luckily I taped in my craft room. Luckily, unluckily, I'm trying not to step on stuff. Okay. The last finish I have that's not fully finished yet is Lizzie Kate Smalls Winter. 
I did change my colors on this. I used black, red, and green, and some pinks. And I did that because I don't like blue in my winter decorations. I know, I'm weird. But I like the black and the red and the green. It still screams winter to me, even if it's kind of Christmassy. I still like it. All right, so those are all my finishes. Now, my whips. I got a lot of whips. I pulled out a lot of things because I wasn't motivated. So I was like, well, maybe if I just work on a lot of things. So I worked on um, Land of Liberty. Because I was also going to be like, oh, I should finish all of these projects. That didn't happen. Um... I got started on the letters. So, because my goal was to get a lot, my goal was to get a lot of stuff done before Mania. So that one, I worked on Boo Club. I finished Monster, except for the eye, you do the eyes. I was working on this one at my parents' house a couple weeks ago. I like this one, it's really cute. Um, hopefully I get that done. I pulled out Donkey Kong, which guys, I am so close to this, it's not even funny. It's just literally motivation to finish it. I just gotta fill in the black. And a couple little bits of red, and that's it. Hopefully, because I have two more to go after this one. So I got my Mario. This is my Donkey Kong. I have Zelda started, or Link started. And I have to do um, Yoshi. Which I think Yoshi is going to be my favorite, which is why I left it for last. To keep me motivated. Alright, other whoops that I had already started... Mm, okay, sorry. In my three kittens quilting bag, I have Happy Fall, y'all. Which I'm very close to the finish with, but damn it. It's got a row of sunflowers, a row of pumpkins, and then this vine thing continues. Very close to a finish. Not quite finished yet, though. It'll get there. We are traveling to Texas um, soon. And so I'm going to plan. I plan on taking a ton of this stuff with me. Guys, I've got black thread everywhere from my quilts. You can't see it, but it's literally everywhere. I need a dust bust. All right. So those are all my previous like things that I've worked on and showed you before. Um, I did have a lot of new starts. Um, I, and I might have started this before I, I started winter ABCs, but this might have been, I might have shown this already. Oops. I've been really working on this. Um, go down to mittens. That's my quilt. Hopefully this is a finish next time I see you. Um, I started... So when I was in the hospital, I didn't bring any of my cross-stitching stuff with me. So I made my brother take me to Hobby Lobby and I just grabbed random stuff. Not random, but I mean like I grabbed Ada, I grabbed some thread, and I grabbed... I had to get a hoop and needles because I didn't have any of it. I, I didn't have any. So I started Tis the Season um, to be jolly. This is a tiny modernist pattern. Except that... Um, I have to rip out all the white. This is what happens when you stitch at 3 o'clock in the morning, guys. I have to rip out all the white. Otherwise, this could possibly be finished. But it kind of makes me, I don't know. I'm kind of sad to go back. It's, I don't know if I'll finish it. I really like it. But I'm only one stitch off on the white, but I have to rip out the whole white. Because it was like at the very beginning. So. And there's a whole series. There's four of the ornaments. And so I would like, I would like to do all four eventually. Um, all right, in our Light the Lantern Sal, which is Lantern Lane, um, I got a little bit done. Oops. So I have the whole top border done. 
and the cardinal and I started on the roof. And I'm using um, Priscilla Blaine's color choices for the most part. So I'm excited about this one. It's just going to take forever. It's going to take forever. And I just got the thread for this or the floss for this. So I wanted to get all the same floss. So um, Bahala Bee Farm was having a big sale like 25 cents off their floss. So I went ahead and bought everything I need for this. Um, all right, our other stitch along that I have started, finally picked the colors for, is our Halloween rules. So just like Christmas rules, Halloween rules, we're doing one rule a month for till next year. So last month's rule was wear a costume. This month's rule is eat candy. Neither rule are done, guys. But I did pick out my colors, which is good. Um, so I have a good start. I only worked like one day on this. So. It'll get there. My purple I'm using is Plum Paisley, which I really, really like that purple. It's turning out so cute. I'm glad I waited because the reason why I hadn't started it yet because I hadn't decided what colors I wanted and I couldn't, I just couldn't make up my mind. Um, all right, so I did get Chock Full of Mary. <clears throat> and I did start it. I'm pretty far along. I haven't been stitching, I've been quilting which has been taking up a lot of my time, my free time. So hopefully after my quilts get done, I can get back to some of these whips. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the jar color yet. Um, I'm not sure, quite sure what I wanna do with that. And then my last whip that I started on, um, so it kinda, I mean, there's kind of a story behind it. My, okay, so I got Eleanor Rigby, and I was looking at, um, I really like this one, so it kind of goes with, like, kind of goes in my, like, with our bedroom, and it's just kind of pretty, and I was thinking about doing this color version, this color conversion of it, but then I keep, like, kept getting drawn back into this, so, um, I started this. And I am actually going to make this in memory of my mom. So it's going to say mom and it's going to have 2011 because that was the year that she died. Yeah, sorry. Um, so that's where I'm at. I'm using all the called for colors. I think it's all general arts. I really like it. It's really pretty. It's gonna be super cute. So this was one of my new purchases, so I bought this. Um, all right, those are all my whips. Now prepare yourself for all of my haul, cause I have a lot. I mean, you wanna think it's almost been two months since my last video, so I have a lot. And a lot of this is Christmas presents that my husband gave me. He's like, go ahead and spend whatever money you want. Mm, okay, I will. Um, to go along, so to start with, to go along with the, um, that one I just showed you, the Eleanor Rigby. Well, I got all of the Beatles patterns, but I got the Long and Winding Road, which I'm going to take out some of these leaves and I'm going to put Dad, um, because like the way we described dad is like dad is home like dad is dad is home so i am going to be stitching this and put the words dad in it and then the date of 2019. um that's one of my goals for next year is to get that done i really like i like it a lot this is my first blackbird design pattern that i'm actually stitching um, all right, so 
let's get this party started. I am sorry for this. Um, I got a whole bunch of the Santa's Village. Um, I'm not going to put them together. I'm going to do them separately. And they're going to go up with my Ray Dunn um, up above. Like my my house is built kind of weird. It's got like this little indent in it. And I put my, some of my Ray Dunn up there. So I got Candy Cane Cottage. Points at a place. Santa's Stocking Store. Mrs. Claus's Cookie Shop. Um, Santa's Sleigh Works. Oops. Santa's House. And Reindeer Stables. These were all, these were 40% off. I bought them at Valhalla Bee Farm. If you're ever in Lincoln, check her out. I love her store. It's great. Um, I also got Mary Making Mini 4th of July, which this is going into my mania. I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but I bought Wordplay. December. Oh my goodness. Sorry. There's one more Santa's Village. Christmas tree farm. I'm not lying, guys. I bought a lot. A lot. Is everyone having good sales? Okay. Ah, uh, that's an old one. That might be an old one, too. Okay. I got October Wordplay. Mania. I got Hilda's Alphabet which is going into Mania. I got gnomes in the gar in a garden row. I haven't decided if I'm gonna stitch this yet or give it to Rose. Um, I had a friend who just started, I had a friend who just started stitching um, <clears throat> and she loves gnomes, so. Gnomes in the garden row. It's really cute, I like it a lot. I got Mary Making Mini Christmas. I can't remember if I showed you, I got Mary Old Soul. That might have been an old one. I got Beggar's Valentine, which I'm excited to start this one. I got Spring Has Sprung, another one I'm excited to start. I got the Winter Whirly Gig. I got Cow Pile. I got Winter Row. I got Holiday Hoopla Christmas. I like this one because I can leave it out for longer than Christmas. Which I'm sure is why she made it like that. I'm super excited for this one. I got Blackbird Designs Easter Parade to make this bunny. Very excited for that. I got the last of the farms I didn't have. So I got Queen Bee Flower Farm. This is the only one I hadn't gotten yet. <clears throat> well, I'm not used to talking. Got a January wordplay. I got Indigo Lane, which I'm really excited to make for our bedroom. <clears throat> it's like a booklet, though. This is really thick. I didn't realize it was going to be so big. Um, I got Easter Bunny Row. I got April Wordplay. Guys, I'm sorry I have so much, but I'm not sorry. Um, tis, oops, tis the season, which I might be starting here. I love these. I got spring gathering and spring delivery. I am so excited to stitch these. I wanna start with spring delivery because look at those little chickies. They're so cute. I can't handle it. I got Easter Peep Parade. I got a very, I got a very wide variety of things. I got vintage eggs, eggs. Okay, we're getting good. I got Octopus's Garden, which I'm not going to stitch this year. Yellow Sunburn and Blackbird. I probably won't get to those this year, but that's okay. I got Kringle and Willard, which I love this one. I got Trick or Treat Row. I got Beggar's Night. Funny story about these. So I got all of the Beggar's ones. 
and I was showing it to my husband, and he's like, they're all the same. I was like, no, they're not. They all have different holidays. And I was like, I'm not going to put them all out on the same time. And he's like, oh, okay. Duh. So I got Beggar's Christmas. And Beggar's Fourth. I got Holly Jolly Farm. And away we go. Um, that's not, I'm not done yet. I have two more to show you, but I kind of want to move these out of my way. All right. So, because I want to show you some fabric of these. So I did, oh my goodness, North Pole Post Office. I forgot that one too. So, um, on top of getting some patterns, I also put an order in at Fat Quarter Shop for some fabric. So I got chalkboard black fabric. Which I'll, um, I'm going to try it on one of the, um, um, farms. I got this red petite point, um, 32 count Belfast linen, which I think I'm going to make peppermint pals. I'm going to put peppermint pals on that. So I'm excited for, to start this. This might be a going down to Texas project. Then I got barn board check Lugana. Is it 32 count? 32 count Lugana. And I finally got Blessed Bee by With Envy on Thread. So I'm going to put Blessed Bee on this, which I think is going to be so cute. All right. Those are all my cross stitch whips new purchases, finishes, all of that kind of fun stuff. So I did get one more thing for Christmas for myself. I bought a new jelly roll. So I got Granny Chic. Um, I absolutely love this. So there is actually, I'm making these other quilts that my grandma had. And she literally has a fabric that looks almost exactly like this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. So I'm going to make myself a quilt out of this and it's going to be for myself because um, all my quilts so far have been for others, but I do believe that is all I have for you today. So thanks for sticking around. Sorry this video is a little bit longer than normal. Next time I won't have so many new <laughs> guys. It was hard. I had a hard, I've had a hard couple weeks. Um, I did have, I am making a, I'm trying to make a plan with myself. You guys know how my plans go. They don't usually go very well at all. My plan for myself is to not buy any new cross stitch patterns except for the jars because I'm on a pre-order list for those. So that's my goal until, until I can get 50 projects done. So my goal next year, I got like, I think I want to say probably about 30 projects done this year. My goal next year is to do 50 because I'm not teaching summer school. So I'll have a little bit of extra time to get some stuff done. So my goal for next year, 50 projects. And I know which, like, I have exactly which projects I want to get done. So hopefully I can do that. And then after I get my 50 projects, then I can buy some new patterns. But right now, my patterns severely outnumber my projects. So that's where I'm at right now. I am going to try to be, I will be back next week because I need to show you guys my, well, I might not post it till after Christmas. So if I don't, Merry Christmas. Thanks for stopping by. But I will be posting a video with some other finishes and some Christmas present finishes that I, that I will have done by then. So I hope you guys are staying warm, staying safe, um, enjoying the holiday season, and I will see you guys later. Bye.